What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. He postulated that there must be two images that we have, an exterior image, and we also have an inner self image. Mm -hmm. And he started to study this, and he wrote a magnificent book on it called Psycho-Cybernetics. Mm -hmm. And Psycho-Cybernetics, psycho being the mind, cybernetics being the science of control and communication. And he goes into this, and he explains how every one of us has an image in our mind of ourself. And it's called a self-image. Too many people don't know much about themselves, and so they don't have a very good image of themselves. And you'll often notice that people will shy away from you. They won't look you in the eye. They'll look down or look up. They'll never try to do anything of any great consequence because they don't think they can. They have a poor self-image. Okay. Part of that is because through school we're told about what well, we don't do well. We failed here. We had low grades. Or that we could only be part got of it. Sixty percent yeah. or whatever. Okay. Yeah. I think that. Um, I think there's been a great disservice done with the IQ test in that respect when you're bringing out school. Uh, Benet, the Frenchman, back around the turn of the century, invented the IQ test, and then we brought it over from Stanford over here, and we'll test a person's intellect, and then we'll brand them good, bad, smart, not, and uh, that's not true. We can change IQs by changing self-images. Mm -hmm. But yes, if we're told we're not very good, you're just like your dad, you know, you're a bum, you're never going to do well, you didn't go to school, you can't win. Okay. Well, that's all, tr that's, that's all false. We can do anything, and we should be encouraging a child. Give them a pat on the back rather than a kick. Okay, what can we do? Members of our, our, our viewing audience right now, they, most of us walk around with some degree of a self-image, is that fair to say? We all have a self-image. Okay, would you say most of us have a, have a negative self-image to some degree? Well... Let's say we can all improve our self-image. Okay. I don't care how good your image is, you can improve it. Okay, how can we improve it? Something specific. How can we go about making our self-image more positive? <coughs> well, again, you know, you're getting into a whole day seminar. If I could give you just a simple tip on it, if a person would sit down and let their body relax, totally relax, okay. and then start to visualize in their mind, see themselves the way they want to see themselves, which may take a, a good deal of thought since yeah, we're not well, sure. you relax. Yeah, and I, I mean, in terms of how we want to see ourselves, maybe we don't we don't know where we how we want relate to relate it to something specific. Uh, uh, somebody we admire, maybe or, possibly uh, somewhere we like to see ourselves down the road. Okay. Yeah, see how you'd like to live your life. See yourself living it that way. Okay. Now understand that that's a picture in your mind. When you pick up a book, the book is nothing but a picture that an author has painted in words. Van Gogh, the great artist, was asked one time how he did such beautiful work. He said, I dream my painting, and then I paint my dream. Let me tell you something. There is no nobility in poverty. I have been a rich man, and I have been a poor man, and I choose rich every fucking time. Yeah!